hey family welcome back to another video nana here thank you guys for coming back to watch this one again in today's video i bring you a super amazing tip conditioner which is um suitable for all hair porosity both high low and medium porosity can use this conditioner um comfortably so if you're watching for the very first time please subscribe and i'll be back to show you how to make this amazing conditioner so guys to start off with this uh, amazing conditioner we're going to need some few ingredients and the first of which is going to be cucumber so i'm using three medium sizes of cucumber if you have big ones then you can use two or one and a half so guys let me give you tell you a little bit about cucumber it has it's um, very rich in sulfur and potassium which can help to stop hair fall and which stimulate hair growth cucumber also provides us our hair with a lot of silicon and sulfur and also calcium and also sodium which are all um, necessary ingredients for our hair growth also cucumber also helps to nourish your hair and to make to strengthen it it keeps your hair shiny and silky as well so guys cucumber again can also hydrate your hair and prevent your hair from falling it contains also vitamin a and c and silica which also helps to strengthen your thinning uh, Traces okay, guys. So when you use cucumber oil or food, it will give you all these amazing benefits. So you cut your cucumber into very small pieces and you put them in your blender. If you have a juicer, that is going to be perfect as well. Then we're going to be using our next ingredient, which is aloe vera, guys. You guys know that I love my aloe vera, so I always always use it. So you want to add your aloe vera into the mix. Aloe vera is going to make your hair shine. It leaves your hair super moisturized. If I against dandruff, it dis dis intoxify your scalp. It also fight against um, itchy scalp and dandruff and all those good stuff. Okay, guys. So I will never emphasize on how important aloe vera is. It has been a game changer in our hair regimen. We're also going to be using avocado for moisture. Avocado adds moisture, it strengthens your hair, it leaves your hair super soft and shiny. Okay, guys, so that's our third ingredient that we're gonna. I'm going to be scooping it to add to the bowl. The reason is because, guys, I'm not gonna blend everything together because my the cup of my blender is small so if you have a bigger blender you can just blend everything together that's why i'm going to be blending my cucumber first before i add the other ingredients okay guys that's just the reason not because of anything but just because that um the cup of my blender is not so big right guys so i'm scooping out two avocados two ripe avocados So remember, like I said in all my videos, I usually give you guys the liberty to add or to subtract. That's why I usually do not put the measurements of the ingredients. But as usual, I'm going to put the ingredients down in the description box for you so that you can um, add anything you want to add or reduce the ingredients if you want to reduce. So after scooping, I'm also going to be adding one cup of parsley that is frozen parsley guys okay so if you have fresh one you can use i had a lot that's why i just put it in the freezer so now guys i already blended the, the cucumber that is only cucumber that i blended guys as i told you guys i blended it like that because my blender is small then now i'm going to add in the parsley I'll add the parsley and the um and the aloe vera. Then I will blend all that again together. So 
so guys like i said this is a conditioner that is very um, perfect for all hair types low porosity high porosity medium porosity you can use it comfortably as you like guys it does not have no protein it will not you, you will not have protein overload and the high porosity too is perfect but guys remember that high porosity hair always needs protein so you cannot dwell on this one using only this one it's going to give you moisture overload all right guys so you have to use protein a lot for high porosity okay guys so i blended my avocado after i poured um, the parsley and the uh, aloe vera and the uh, cucumber in the bowl then now i'm adding the avocado guys remember i said it's because my the cup of my blender is small as you can see so if you have a bigger one you just blend everything together guys i do not separate it for a particular reason it's just because my cup is small right guys i hope it's understood so you after you blend everything together then i mix them now up okay guys so i mix everything together and that is how it's looking guys at this stage you can go ahead and add your oils and use it as such but remember that if you use it like this you're gonna have so much pops on your hair that it will take you maybe another two or three wash day for you to get everything out and it will cost you a lot of build-ups okay guys if you leave this conditioner in your hair like this it's going to give you a lot of build-up later later uh later after you finish your wash day and everything you will discover that you will have a lot of build-ups so i took my time to strain which is what i'm doing right now okay guys So strain it if you do not want puffs, but if you don't mind, you can go ahead and add your oils into it and then you go and um, use your conditioner. But as usual, since I do not like puffs in my hair or on, on my kids' hair, I always strain everything out. Because like I said, if you use it like that, you're going to have build-ups, a lot of build-ups on your hair from the conditioner itself. Okay, guys so you see how you strain it it's coming out very light it becomes very light right guys because you're actually taking out the juice and you're going to leave the pulp so guys if you strain that is how it's going to come out so i'm going to go off camera to strain everything and come back and show you how it's looking So guys, this is not a conditioner that contains protein, but it actually strengthens your hair. The cucumber strengthens your hair and makes your hair super shiny and moisturize at the same time. So that is how it's looking, guys. It's become very light in um, texture. And um, if you like it this way, running as such, know that um, when you apply it on your hair, it's going to run down your body, guys. Okay, guys, because it's so light. So at this point also, you can add your eyes and you go ahead and use your conditioner. All right, guys? Use your conditioner like this if you like. But to me, it's very light. So that's why I decided to add a tablespoon of my Zantan gum. So if you don't have this, guys, leave it as such and just go ahead and use your conditioner like that. If you have um, cornstarch in the house, you can add it. Oh, if you have any other thickener in the house, you can add it to your conditioner. But just make sure that you read about the thickener if you can get into your hair before you add it to the conditioner to make it thick. So that's what I'm doing. I try to mix it with a spoon, guys, but it was um leaving some lumps as you see in the conditioner, and then I decided to pour it back in the blender, okay, guys. But before I blend it, I'm going to be adding my oils. So I add a, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I also added 
one tablespoon of castor oil and then lastly but not the least I added um, avocado oil okay guys so these are oils of high prosity as I always say our hair is high prosity so these are the oils that high prosity hair uses if you use your own oil if you have low low prosity use oils for low prosity okay guys and then um, this is how it's looking very smooth and creamy guys look at it because of the xanthan gum that's what the xanthan gum does guys it helps to thicken your any solution that you're making it thickens it up so that's how it is you can use any other thickener that you have in their house it doesn't matter but just make sure that it's um something that you can put in your hair so now it's time for application so guys the kids are on holidays oh gosh i'm super excited guys because now i have all the time in the world to do their hair i don't have just two days like saturday and sunday that i'll do it in a hurry for them to go to school on monday so now i can relax i can stretch my wash day into four or five days if i like and um yeah guys so this this they just came from holidays so i'm applying it on a hair that i washed two days ago and um, that's why you saw me spray um the living that i did i'm going to link it down below for anybody that wants it the living that i did with bay leaves and cloves so i just sprayed it on her hair to wet her hair and then i'm adding the conditioner on her hair from her scalp to her tips making sure that you don't cause breakage guys apply it and um, her hair was already detangled and washed so i'm applying on clean hair it's not a, a mask guys it's a deep conditioner so you want to apply it on clean hair if it was a mask you apply it on dirty hair okay guys so you want to apply it on clean hair and you apply it generously guys this conditioner guys when it touches your hair that's how your hair feels oh gosh so soft guys i don't know if it is my kids hair that feels so soft or that's how it does it with every hair i don't know but it feels so good on her hair her hair feels so soft her strands are just soaking the conditioner in guys so i apply generously to her hair make sure that it penetrates on every corner of her hair I really work it in working it very well guys so once i'm finished with that section i'm just going to wrap that up and then i work on the other section So after everything guys, this is how it's looking. I took my time and I saturated her hair with it guys. As you can see, I put a lot of it on her hair. And I'm going to put a plastic bag on it. And she's going to stay for about two hours guys. Like I said, it's holidays so I'm not in a hurry. I'll leave it on her hair for two hours or more. And then I'll go and rinse her hair. Then I will go ahead and moisturize. I will put in, um, I will spray her hair with our leaving with the bay leaf and cloves conditioner. And then I will follow with Cantu leaving conditioner. I told you guys that's the only conditioner that leaving that I still use from the store. From I've been using it since I started our hair journey. We've never changed our leaving. It's always Cantu. I will after I spray with the spray I will put in cantoon then I will use our one of our butters to seal the moisture and that is it guys thank you guys for watching God bless you as always make good decisions and I'm going to see you in the next video bye bye I love you guys please subscribe bye